So our exhibit in dealing with ungardening is taking the concept that you can use native plants to increase the biodiversity and habitat found in a suburban yard. A lot of these suburban yards are mainly non-native plants with low ecosystem services. So going with the ungardening theme, we want to show how you can transition from a normal non-native suburban backyard into a native wildlife habitat. Uh, we want to demonstrate that you don't need to rip out everything that's not native. You don't need to start clean. You can slowly introduce things over time. So there's a couple of major steps that we need to look at. The first one is vernalization. This is essentially giving them an early winter, so they go into coolers for a few months. The next step is when they come into our growing areas to determine the amount of heat, light, and humidity that they need to be able to foliate or um, produce flowers in time for the show. So this is one of our relatively new plants. We've done this in the past, but it's been many years. This is Euryngium mecafolium. One of the common names is Rattlesnake Master. It's a native plant to this region that you'd find growing in prairies or meadow areas. So there will be a prairie and meadow in our exhibit, which is where this will be displayed, along with Baptisia and other types of native meadow plants. So this is a new plant for our exhibit this year. We have never done this one before. This is Apuncia humifusa, our native prickly pear. Looks like something you'd see in New Mexico or the desert, but it's actually native to Pennsylvania. It's a very attractive yellow flower on it. Um, so we have flower buds on it now. We'll see if they'll open for the show. Okay, so this is one of the many trees that we're forcing for the exhibit. This is a river birch, Betula nigra. Um, cultivar is called Cully or Heritage. So it's a heat tolerant species. Uh, does really well in landscape, but also forces really well and looks great in our exhibit. Being one of the few exhibitors that grow our own plants, we have more flexibility in terms of what species we can grow. We also are able to give our students a really unique experience that not many other programs would offer. Um, I've just been helping with kind of speeding up the plants or slowing them down is helping them flower sooner, leaf out sooner, kind of slowing that process down so that they're in flower for the flower show. Uh, so we've been working on, on different kinds of plants. A lot of, um, we've been working on wisteria plants and training, training them to vine so we could uh, eventually take them down and move them to the, to the flower show and, and start um, roping them around different, different things. And, uh, yeah, so far we've been working with a lot of native plants mostly. Well, I've done a lot of watering and things such as transporting plants out of a cooler. Uh, different flowers require different times to flower, so I've been making sure with Ben to help me uh, transport these flowers and make sure that they are all good. It trains you for the for the real world because I'm about to graduate and start interning and and, and I'll be working hands on so I need some some kind of uh, some kind of physical experience before I, I can go into that. Um, it's one of the most hands on experiences I've had in this major. Most of our um, classes are a lot of them are in in, in class and there's not much um, activity so I feel like I'm getting a hands on experience. I hope they uh, find an appreciation for native plants because a lot of our theme is about uh, changing your lawn to be more native friendly. I think that's a pretty cool thing. Plus, just I hope people get out there and enjoy it and love the flowers like I do. My work means something and I'm glad about that. I, I hope people really enjoy it. Mm -hmm.